this is Rian again. Today, I am going to show you how to use some tools and equipment in caregiving. But before that, what does caregiving mean? Caregiving is an activity or profession of regularly looking after a child or a sick, elderly, or disabled person. What do you call the person who takes care of her patient? Yes, you're right. It is a caregiver. A caregiver is the one who is assisting with personal care. Bathing and grooming, dressing, toileting, and exercise. For basic food preparation, preparing meals, shopping, housekeeping, laundry, and other errands. For general health care, overseeing medication and prescriptions usage, appointment reminders, and administering medicine. So, let's start! First, microwave. Microwave is very efficient at preheating food. It retains essential nutrients and doesn't make food soggy. In fact, microwaves work great in reheating just about any kind of food. Here are some steps on how to use the microwave. First, plug it. Open it. Place it in the microwave and close it and set it to the right timer to reheat your food. Once it's done, check if it is hot. And make sure to unplug it. Microwaves are important because they are time-saving. They are convenient as we can cook food in no time and maintain the nutrient and water content of the food. Microwave oven helps in heating food without burning as there is a touch button to set the time. Second is the thermometer. It is an instrument used to measure the temperature. When someone is sick, I will use the digital thermometer to check her temperature. But now, some people use the forehead thermometer, just like this. Forehead thermometers use infrared sensors to measure the temperature of the superficial temporal artery, which is a branch of the carotid artery. Forehead thermometers that require no physical contact have become very popular for use in venues such as airports, stores, and stadiums. Hello, ma'am. What's your name, po? Uh, Romena Esma. Hi, po, ma'am Romena. How old are you, po? I'm 14. Um, do you have any sickness, po? Go, sick one like that. Yeah, I will be po. Uh, okay, po. I will just check your temperature, po. Thirty-six point four, po. Okay, naman po kayo. Thank you, dog. Thank you, po. You're welcome, po. Last but not the least is the BP monitoring device. Many people monitor their blood pressure at home. They often do this to manage or treat a certain health condition. There are two types of blood pressure. Systolic blood pressure refers to the pressure inside your arteries when your heart is pumping. Diastolic pressure is the pressure inside your arteries where your heart is resting between beats. How to sit correctly? Sit in a chair with your legs uncrossed and your feet flat on the floor. Sit with your back and arm being supported. The arm cuff should be placed on your arm at the same level as your heart. This is the Omron Blood Pressure Monitor. This is how to use 
the monitor. First, apply the arm cap. First, insert the air plug into the air jack securely. Hi, Doc. I'm not feeling so well today. Um, ano pong meron? Ano pong ganyan? Marang nahihilo ako. Ano uh, yung nice? I have a slight fever sometimes. Okay, so i-check ko lang po yung um, blood ninyo. Okay. okay, please do. Okay. Second, put your arm through the calf loop. The bottom edge of the arm cuff should be 1 to 2 centimeters above the elbow. Marker, arrow under the air tube is centered on the middle of your inner arm. Third, close the fabric fastener firmly. Ayan. Okay, press the star or stop button. Okay, Ayan na. Ayan po, 122 over 82, pulse ninyo po is 73. I observed, Doc, doc that my uh, BP is quite higher than my uh, regular BP. What can you advise to me, Doc? Um, just rest po at home and, uh, and eat fruits and vegetables always po. Ayun lang po yung reminder ko po sa inyo. Okay, thank you. Okay, na po Did you learn something today? Once again, this is Rianci Escat, Grade 7 from BACFAO. Thanks for watching and listening. Goodbye!